Hello and guten Tag to War Thunder with Lutsch Dahlhagel. In this clip I want to show you the KV-2, some gameplay, and especially one particular part of the match, um, which shows what the KV-2 was used in World War II and what it's capable of in the game itself. As you can see, I did not record this um, clip while I was playing. I did not expect to do that well, because Normally I, um, the KV-2 excels not in having a lot of matches where you can a lot of action. Because the reload of this gun is, I would say, it's not bad for, uh, for an artillery shell, but um, it's a very long reload for a tank. And so the action is quite poor in this machine. The reason for this is the KV-2 cannot stay in open ground like, for example, the Tiger. It doesn't have the armor for it and especially the reload of the gun is very very long so staying in the open ground makes you sitting duck and you can't really react to um, threats that are upcoming so you need to take cover to reload and then reappear on the battleground in this match I really wanted to do one thing I wanted to prevent the enemy to cap our base and that's why I'm staying here and protecting our base like Thurberos I really wanted to kill or destroy all that was going to our base and that's why I took this strategic position here. There was an AI upcoming and I destroyed it with a high explosive shell. I really like to use the high explosive shells a lot more than the AP shells um, with this tank. The AP shells, even though they have a very high penetration value, they tend to stick onto spaced armor, for example the, the one on the Panther 3's uh, turret front. And the high explosive shells here on the low tier, I would say, or mid tier battles, really do their job on the on thin armored vehicles like the Panther IV or the Panther III. At this stage of the battle, I realized, okay, we are getting outflanked by three or four enemy tanks to the north, and nobody really is reacting to it. So I was kind of the only guy who realized it. Um, that's why I made my way back to our base. Unfortunately, you can't see the outflanking maneuver here on the map because the map is not really functional inside the replays. Um, the same you can say for the uh, sides or the crosshair of your side. It does not really um, look where you are looking. But let's get back to the game. Um, I took defensive position here in front of this little hill and I realized this hill is kind of exactly as high as my KV-2. So I was thinking, okay, coming out, shooting, getting back in, uh, behind the hill to reload. And in fact now there's a Jack Panzer 4 right in front of me. One of the first that appeared of the 4 or 3 man group or 3 tank group that tried to outflank us. I missed my first shot there but I managed to get back behind the hill in time before the Jack Panzer 4 could hit me. And by the way I now realized okay our team is going to cap um, either and so the only thing I have, or the only thing I have to do is prevent the four or three tanks that are coming here um, to cap our base. And that is exactly what this replay is about. At this point I had a very good shot at the Panzer III Ausführer J, but as I mentioned before I stick to the AP ammunition because I was thinking it has so much penetration it definitely will go into the tank or penetrate the tank, but as you can see it kind of stick to the um, space armor of this tank and did no damage whatsoever. I then reloaded to HE ammunition and I was hoping that I will do better with it. At this point I realized that my team is capping the enemy base right now and so I was really focusing on preventing them to move forward and especially my focus was on the Jack Panzer 4 on the hill there because he was one of the quickest and especially most dangerous of the enemy team. However, my shot was slightly too low, I guess, and I did no damage to him and didn't even hit him. So um, I had to get back into my cover and reload the next round, which takes about around about 30 seconds, I guess, which can be a very long time if you are surrounded by enemies, like me in the situation here. And while I was focusing on the Jagdpanzer 4 in front of me, I don't really realize that a Stück Ausführung F sneaked behind me and I was really lucky there that his shot did not penetrate my armor. 
I reload in time to give the Stub the final blow and took him out of the game. Then a Panther 3 um, managed to get around me from the left side and they really tried to attack me here from several sides. But I think this Panther 3 did not unlock the armor piercing composite rigid rounds and he wasn't able to penetrate my armor over and over again. Kind of lucky for me. But I think the best matches, or in inside the best matches, you have to have luck. I then reloaded my HE shells and wanted to take out the Panther 3, which I could not take out with the AP shells before. And I did so. After I took him out, I took a big old hit from the Yak Panther 4, but I think he may hit my cheeks of the turret and did not penetrate at all. Shortly after that, the match was over by capping the enemy base and I held the line with my KV-2 against four opponents, making this a win. I hope you had fun, do your best on the battlefield and see you!